Welcome back to Domingo Live. We've got our wide shot here because we kind of wanted to show off all the cool Tejano, oh, well, not Tejano. It is Tejano because they're in Texas, yes. Texas A&M University Corpus Christi homecoming week here, and we're gonna celebrate it Islander style with a little Tejano thrown in, right? So all this week, they're gonna have events that celebrate the Island University, and it's just gonna be really, really cool. We're just sorry that we missed Barbie. Barbie's had the day off. She's got the day off today, so she would be talking about her alma mater, but I tell you what, we're gonna try to do a good job here. We've got Gabriela Bidwell. She is the communication specialist over at Texas A&M University. So Gabriela, tell me a little bit about the uh, kickoff of the homecoming week over at the university. Sure. So every Tuesday on the island is known as Blues Day Tuesday, and that means that we rep our Islander Blue. Citywide Blues Day Tuesday is where we are encouraging the entire Corpus Christi community to be with us as we celebrate our Blues Day Tuesday and wear our Islander Blue and really rep the Island University. I think I just really want to hit home that Texas A&M University Corpus Christi is really proud to be a part of the Corpus Christi community and homecoming really gives us an opportunity to celebrate the current students as they work really hard in their classes, celebrate alumni who have graduated and gone beyond to do great and amazing things. And also as well, celebrate the community and its members who continuously support us throughout the entire year. We couldn't be more excited to have homecoming coming up, and we are really looking forward to seeing you all at all of our events. And that is exactly what's leading up to my next question, Gabriela. Is there, uh, tell us about the events. We know there is. Tell us about the events where the, the community can actually participate. We have a block party on Saturday, and the block party is a ton of fun. We have inflatables, festival festival style games, food trucks, a DJ, a petting zoo, and activities for the young and young at heart alike. <laughs> it's a great way to spend your Saturday surrounded by Islander pride, spirit, and tradition. Also happening on Saturday is the Islander men's and women's basketball games, and we are playing against the Northwestern State Demons. The Islander women's basketball game tips off at noon with the block party starting immediately after at two. After the block party, we all will head inside for the men, the Islanders men's basketball game, which we will cheer for our team and will also announce homecoming court, Islander alumni, um, and so much more as we all gather together just to celebrate homecoming. Tickets for the basketball games, you can go to GoIslanders.com. If you're looking for merch and your homecoming spirit gear, you can also go to IslanderHoco.com to purchase those items. And you can also follow us on social media. Our Instagram is Island underscore University. And you, we, you can also search us on Facebook and Twitter. And you'll be able to see a lot of great photos and get more information and details on the events. Okay, so I know that there's probably a lot of folks out there wondering, hmm, homecomings usually happen in the fall. Why is the Island University celebrating homecoming in February? The reason that we celebrate homecoming in February is because we follow our basketball teams and our basketball team schedules and working with the American Bank Center. And so our homecoming is always around this time in February, maybe a day or a week or two in front or behind, but Islander Homecoming really wants to celebrate our basketball team. I love that on the island, we celebrate our tennis teams, our golf teams, our softball teams, our baseball teams, and our basketball teams. It really helps show who we are and the things that we invest in during homecoming. And it's really nice to be unique and be blue and be proud and of our island and of our traditions and of our community. So I really like homecoming and I really love going to the basketball games and especially the block party because it really feels like one big family reunion. I'm glad you mentioned traditions, okay? We are very familiar with some of them, but maybe we could share of them, some of them with our audience who are watching right now. The shaka, thumbs up, pinky out, swoosh. Yeah, that's our shaka. Um, so our Islander sign is shaka's up, and you can see us at the basketball games. We work together with the spirit team and with our band and our cheerleaders, and they have a whole thing of cheers that they'll lead the crowd members through. So we're not just doing the wave out there. Um, there are a lot of cheers. And additionally, we have on 
Tuesday, which is Citywide Blue Day Tuesday. What's ha happening on campus is we're having Blue Fest and Anchors Away, which is where we paint our anchor that has traveled through with us all across the years, all 75 years. And we like to get together and repaint that anchor white as we celebrate our colors, as we celebrate our spirit. And that's just one of the traditions that has stuck with us over time. Now that is a tradition for sure. Um, you know, I just thought about this. If Since Barbie's not here today, is there anything that you'd like to, to share with her since she's probably watching at home? Hey, Barbie, I hear the word on the street is that you are an alumni from the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Go Islanders. There you go. Well done, Gabriella Bidwell. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Soy por la mañana here on Domingo Live talking about all the wonderful homecoming activities. If you'd like to have or know more information about the homecoming events of the week, go to our website, ktriplitv.com. We'll have a link there. All that information and more available on their website as well.